Anya Feddersen works eight-hour shifts looking after children. It's a job that requires a lot of patience. There was a time when jobs in childcare were few and far between. But the situation has improved, and now trained daycare teachers like Feddersen are much sought after. Finding this job was no problem. She even has a fixed contract, something that has given her peace of mind. When I finished school and then my training, I was pretty worried because I'd heard that it was hard to find a job and that pay tended to be bad. But then I got lucky. Germany is currently seeing a shortfall of some 20,000 childcare staff. The Hamburg daycare centre, where Anja Feddersen works, also has a shortage of teachers. The daycare centre is expanding. The director wants to create another 60 places for new children. Anja Feddersen is one of four new members of staff. The director would like to hire another daycare teacher as soon as possible to help look after her group of children. We'll need more teachers. The training needs to be more in-depth and more up-to-date in terms of the theory of instruction. Next year we're going to have difficulty hiring people because many teachers are retiring and there aren't enough new qualified trainees to replace them. There's no job crunch in the social sector, but in the industrial sector it's a different story. Jobs in industry are especially vulnerable to turbulence in the economy. In a financial crisis, contract workers are usually the first to be let go. Jörg Valka is well aware of the risks. He runs a human resources company that hires out workers to companies in the industrial sector, and he's one of the first to notice when times are tough. One hundred and fifty two thousand contract workers lost their jobs last year, and Valka's company was among those feeling the pinch. In 2008, we had to let 14 staff go, and then things got really bad in January. There was a sudden drop in contracts. We lost 12 all at once. When that happens, you really have to take a deep breath. It was tough. Valka has noticed that the focus in the labour market is shifting away from industry and towards the social sector. He's reacting to this shift by changing his business strategy. He's now concentrating more on social services, hiring out more contract workers in the caregiver sector. These jobs are less temporary than jobs in the industrial and technical sectors, which tend to be affected by extraneous factors. All the factors in medicine are constant. Operations take place every day, care is required every day. In that respect, this is a sector with a future. Jörg Walker has got a point. As Germany's population ages, the healthcare sector is booming. 53,000 new jobs were created last year alone. With his new human resources company, he'll make sure the workers on his books are among those who benefit.